Another day, another study. Researchers warn that Omicron looks just like the regular cold. Be afraid. It's just like the regular cold. Cool. Seen the symptoms for a long time. I could have told you that before a fraction of the price. Or, I don't know, depends on how much money you got. You might have charged that much, especially if you can get away with it. UK researchers are warning that symptoms of the common cold could potentially point a person to having uh, COVID-19. Cool. Uh, most deadly pandemic ever. ever. Um, and I also believe that January 6th is the most deadly thing to have ever happened ever, even more so than 9-11. Imagine believing a life like that. A ZOE a COVID study team has reportedly been studying and tracking the pandemic using feedback given by the general public. According to the BBC, uh, this team has estimated that around half of those experiencing cold-like symptoms have actually caught uh, the coof. Wow. A group uh, said that an explosion of COVID-19 cases have occurred in the last week, driven by the fast-spreading Omicron variant. Uh, what do most people report? Runny nose. The uh, number of new symptomatic cases has exploded over the last week. Symptomatic? Oh my god, how are they manifesting? For most people, an Omicron-positive case will feel much more like the common cold. Fuck. Start off with a sore throat, runny nose, and a headache, and you only need uh, to ask a friend who has recently tested positive to find this out. <sighs> Boy, imagine living your life like that. But imagine uh, that, okay, the development and the finding out of Omicron. Imagine this, okay, well, it was about the most obvious thing that was ever going to happen, and I think I called it at the time, but Austria... I think they were the first major nation in uh, the European Union to start locking down the vaccinated only. And I said, oh, yeah, right. That's going to be what, a four, uh, 12 or 14 day lockdown. Yeah, that's definitely going to stay uh, being a 12 or 14 day lockdown. Well, you just take a look at this. Austria adds another 10 days to their unvaccinated only lockdown because it's working so well. And it's all about your health and safety. It's definitely not about control. Make sure you make sure you guys get a nice fresh box of masks for Christmas. The Austrian government on Thursday extended a lockdown for unvaccinated individuals by another 10 days ahead of COVID vaccine requirements that are expected to go into effect in early 2022. That's all right. It's still a choice. You can still get tested and all that stuff. We're just going to lock you down until we have to force you to get the jab. Cool. Austrians who chose not to get vaccinated, still a choice against the coof of will over the Christmas holidays and up till New Year's Eve face restrictions that include limitation on shopping, uh, be unable to attend work without a negative COVID test, as well as being restricted to a number of events and indoor settings. Under the measure, unvaccinated Austrians are generally not allowed to leave their homes or meet more than one person at a time from another household. The measure doesn't apply to children under the age of 12 because they cannot yet officially get vaccinated. Aw, shucks. Austria's health minister announced last week that the expect that an expectation uh, will exception fuck will be granted by the government over the Christmas holidays and unvaccinated individuals will be allowed to join gatherings of up to 10 people. Yay. From December 24th to December 26th without ne needing proof proof of vaccination or proof of recovery from the China virus. I'm so happy. Wow. It's just so weird that Austria would do something so tyrannical. It's not like they ever have any of that in their history, but moving from government policy to the courts, okay? And once again, Biden's vaccine mandate is just getting bounced back and forth and back and forth, okay? Oh, uh, you can't mandate jabs for healthcare workers. Oh, wait, you can't? Okay, you can't do it for the private sector. Maybe you can? Okay, no, it's stayed in 10 states, but it's good to go in 30. What about the other ones? Okay, yeah, but what about federal contractors? Okay, no. Okay, yes, uh, uh, no. A Florida court blocks Biden's vaccine mandate for federal contractors. So does that account for all federal contractors? And why would Florida know what's best for the rest of the country? Oh, right. Just look at their governor and he's doing the best job that's out there. Anyways, a federal court in Florida has temporarily blocked the Biden administration's COOF vaccine mandate directed at federal contractors, marking a small win for the Sunshine State as the litigation over the matter continues needlessly and um, preposterously at this point. Remember when it was announced in, like, October? Oh, no, I'm sorry, September, right? Fucking, this year has just been running together. Now, Florida is among 19 states that sued the Biden administration in late October over the federal mac er, vaccine mandate for government contractors outlined in Executive Order 66. Oh, I'm sorry, now, 14042 uh, that Biden issued on September 9th. The executive order requires almost all federal employees to get the COOF jab, 
But U.S. District Court Judge Stephen Meriday on Wednesday granted a motion by Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody for the preliminary injunction. Uh, Florida has filed its case on October 28th, naming Biden NASA Administrator (laughs) Bill Nelson. All right. Are you trying to sue people to get sent to the moon? That's awesome. Uh, Six other officials and five federal agencies as defendants in his order. On Wednesday, Meriday said Florida demonstrates a substantial likelihood that an executive order from the Biden administration exceeds the president's authority. Now, let's see if one of the appeals courts picks it up because uh, that that ruling uh, seems to be very popular with some courts. And then other courts think that OSHA can regulate stuff because they're OSHA. Whatever. But yeah, um, looks like daddy's home. Supreme Court to take up challenge to Biden's vaccine mandates. So we talked about this. I think we talked about it like yesterday or some shit. And it's like eventually because they asked for rulings. Okay, they they wanted the administration to address the growing number of challenges that are coming their way. But uh, yeah, now they finally officially uh, made their move on this one. I'm not optimistic because I see the rulings that come out of the Supreme Court. I see those nine idiots that staff that court with the exception of probably Alito Gorsuch and Clarence Thomas. I see them that are up there and I'm I'm not optimistic about the outcomes. Don't be resting your fucking hat on anything that comes down from the Supreme Court. So uh, they have agreed to hear oral arguments on challenges to the Biden administration's COOF vaccine mandate. In an announcement on Wednesday, the nation's highest courts, a uh, federal court, said it would take, oh, it would on January 7th, a day after the worst day and uh, whatever, uh, to take up two separate disputes challenging the Biden administration's mandate for businesses of more than 100 employees, so the private side of things, and then for healthcare workers at facilities receiving Medicaid and Medicare funding. The court, which has a 6-3 conservative-leaning majority, we've broken that down several times, it's basically a 3-3-3 split with um, cucks in the middle, liberals on the left, and uh, three based conservatives on the right. I'll let you just go ahead and figure out who's who exactly. Uh, the workplace mandate is currently in effect nationwide, while the healthcare worker mandate is blocked in half of the 50 states. Uh, yeah, it depends on the day, though, if the workplace mandate is being blocked or if it's being dissolved or if it's being blocked again, but who fucking knows? So yeah, let's see where we are today, December 23rd. The mandate for healthcare workers was issued last month by the Center for Medicare Medicaid Services and affects roughly 17 million workers. It requires facilities that receive Medicare and Medicaid funding to require workers to get vaccinated and has no testing opt-out. The deadline for meeting the mandate is January 4th, But because they're going to be hearing oral arguments, do people still have to comply with it? I guess. However, OSHA said on December 18th that it would not be issuing fines to businesses for noncompliance until January 10th. Okay, a few days after oral arguments, and then the court's going to have to ponder it for a couple of days. So maybe they're going to be getting their decision in on or around that day perhaps perhaps uh, the biden administration's private employer uh, vaccine mandate meanwhile has promulgated by the department of well it's osha uh, if allowed to take effect next month it will force every business with more than 100 employees and they have plans to expand it to even lower populations and even smaller businesses because who possibly seen that coming um will require proof of a negative covid test on at least a weekly basis or proof of vaccination for every worker companies that don't comply could face escalating fines of like up to forty two thousand dollars per infraction if i recall you know the white house on wednesday said there's confident in the legal authority of both policies that's why it keeps getting kicked back and forth and back and forth especially as the united states faces the highly transmissible omicron variant but again um do we need to do we need a refresher course there um looks like a cold highly transmissible but is it fatal is it deadly is it harmful it's transmissible cool uh it is critical to protect workers with vaccination requirements and testing protocols that are urgently needed oh okay uh, jen saki said on said in a statement in like one of her final um press conferences because isn't she retiring or isn't she um stepping down at the end of the month thought i knew that or was that 2022 don't know don't care she sucks um hopefully you get nothing but coal and maybe a nuke in your stocking a critical moment of the nation's health the osha vaccination and or testing rule ensures that employers are protecting their employees no controlling but whatever 
I don't really care. The announcement comes as the Biden administration ramps up its messaging for Americans to get vaccinated or they will face a winter of death and suffering. The Omicron variant of the novel coronavirus on Monday became the dominant source of new infections in the United States. How do you know that? Um, because you guys know those PCR tests and all of the other tests out there, unless you're in like a, a lab set or lab setting and you purposefully and you just try to target what variant it is, it doesn't come up and say, oh, you've tested positive for UK variant, alpha variant, Omicron variant. How do you know? Oh, we just do. It's just transmitting. Okay. How, how much more transmissible is it? Because once again, we've just been told, okay, we know the symptoms of it, but how much more transmissible than the Delta variant is it? Don't know. Okay. And how much more transmissible was the Delta variant over a regular old alpha variant? Still don't know, but be scared. Federal officials cited CDC figures from the week ending December 18th that showed nearly a six-fold increase in Omicron share of infections in only one week. <gasps> oh my god. Currently, individuals are considered fully vaccinated after taking their second dose of a two-dose series. However, Fauci told CNBC's Squawk Box last week that the redefinition of being fully vaccinated is on the table. Cool. It was being talked about, it wasn't being considered, and now it's on the table cool so yeah if you follow what these idiots are up to i think you know what's probably coming up next but whatever bro they'll be coming in 2022 uh so yeah for tomorrow uh we've got three videos coming out um a very news related uh the first one of the day is just more or less talking about crt in schools by the way uh we got a funny article um and just showing the degeneracy of the journalism profession and why independent sources are doing it better and then yeah we got another report on worthless government spending which it kind of coincides with the time of year so i think all of that stuff's going to be really nice and really fun and then over the weekend saturday and sunday for christmas day and then for boxing day if you celebrate it if you're in the UK or if you're in Canada or I don't know if it's really taken off in the United States. It was sort of a thing the last time I was there over Christmas in 2014, I think, in Vegas there. It was a, a fucking worst Christmas ever, but I got a whole bunch of stuff coming up then. Uh, yeah, so this is probably going to be the last live time unless something like earth shattering happens tomorrow and I need to sideline something in order to talk about it. But don't anticipate that, mostly because my computer's ask, are acting a super gay, so... It needs some time off, I guess. I don't know. Or if you guys just want to send me money for a new CPU, that would be great. But no, I would never shake anybody down like that. So I just want to send out a very, very heartfelt, uh, very, very serious uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. It's, ob it's, it's my favorite time of year. And yeah, as much as I've hated this year and it's been terrible and we still have another week, so it could get even worse, but... You look on the bright side of things, uh, the channel has um, really, okay, For I don't really like to do a lot of complaining about it, it's just kind of stagnated lately, but um, yeah, I think, I can't remember what it was, I don't even know if it was at triple digits at this point last year, but you know what, uh, it's been great to see, um, I'm glad people like my takes on things, or I don't know, maybe you guys are just all signed up because it's a big fucking troll, I don't really know, still trying to get to a thousand, still like to get monetized, that would be great um have big goals have big aspirations and i feel like things keep getting better every single time that i step in front of the camera every single time i plug in the microphone i think things keep getting better all of the time and thanks thanks very very much and i'll probably have another cheesy corny send off at the end of the uh the last video of the day tomorrow in anticipation for christmas but haven't recorded it yet so i just wanted to do this now in case you guys are busy tomorrow which i totally understand because i'll be spending time with my family mm, unfortunately they have a bunch of cats and i'm allergic to that and uh, yeah so i'm gonna try to mitigate that we'll see how that goes but um yeah spend some time with my family watch some goofy ass christmas movies and enjoy my favorite day of the year Hopefully you guys have a great Christmas as well. Take some time to reflect on the season and be happy for what you have because you don't have it forever. And this year has really taught us all that. But with that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.